Good evening and welcome to another episode of Crime Live. I am your host, Sergeant Brian Finland. Today is Saturday, May 2nd, and Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner. This weekend is typically a very busy weekend for the Modesto Police Department, and we'd like to take you along for the ride. Take a look. By about 10 p.m., things were really starting to heat up throughout the city, especially on McHenry Avenue. Officers were assigned to McHenry Avenue to deal with reports of heavy traffic and crowds gathering in private parking lots. Throughout the night, officers were kept busy keeping parking lots clear, such as the Sonic Drive-In on McHenry, the Walgreens near McHenry and Roseburg, and even parking lots out of the city jurisdiction near McHenry and Kiernan. The goal of these officers was to ensure that private property was kept clear. In previous years, these large gatherings have led to fights, violence, and reckless driving in the parking lots adjacent to McHenry Avenue. The officers were kept busy until about 1 a.m. when traffic began to thin. At about 11.30 p.m., police were called to the 600 block of Roselawn Avenue to investigate the report of a male who had been shot. When the first responding patrol officer arrived, they found that two people had been shot, both of whom were teens. The preliminary investigation suggests that the two victims were in a white four-door vehicle near the intersection of Vicksburg and Rouse Streets when they were shot. Information obtained seems to suggest that two males, wearing dark clothing, are responsible for the shooting. We received a call about 11.30 tonight of a subject shot. When we arrived on the scene, we located uh, one subject shot um, and also another subject who has also been shot, who is considered critical at this time, who has been transported. Uh, both people have actually been transported to local hospitals. Officers also encountered especially large crowds in downtown Modesto. Extra officers were temporarily assigned to the downtown area near bar closing time. Large party now out of control, but the subject's throwing beer cans and picking up sticks, trying to pull the team downhill and pounce mouth. I'll send you directions to your screen. After all was said and done, this seemed to be one of the busier Cinco de Mayo weekends that we had seen in quite some time. Well, it's just after 3 in the morning and things are just now starting to calm down. We hope you enjoyed riding along with us tonight, and we hope you enjoyed what you saw. As always, if you have any questions about this episode of Crime Life or any other episode of Crime Life, please don't hesitate to give me a call. My phone number is 572-9500. We hope you stay safe.